Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is officially my first ever sketchbook tour, but with a little bit of a twist. In August, my family flew to Portland, Oregon, and we took a 10-day road trip down to Los Angeles to drop off my brother at college. And I thought it would be fun to show you our trip via my sketchbook, explain where I found inspiration, and just show you a couple clips from the trip. So if you enjoy the video and want to see more sketchbook tours in the future, I literally have so many sketchbooks that I'm in the middle of and I would love to show you guys when they're done. Give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, of course. And you can also check me out over on Patreon where I have a book club and monthly print and sticker mail. Here is a little preview of September's print and sticker mail. You have until the end of September to sign up for these rewards. Getting all that YouTube stuff out of the way, this sketchbook is a moleskin art sketchbook and I usually go for bigger sketchbooks, but I ended up really liking this size and I found that the blank page wasn't as scary because sometimes I see like a blank page and I'm like, how the heck am I gonna fill that up, you know? But I didn't really have that much trouble because the size was like not that big. Background on the trip and why we decided to do a road trip. My youngest brother, David, is the last one of us to go to school. And this trip was extra, extra special because it was like our last hurrah for all of us. And he's literally leaving us. Well, now he has left us. And he went across the country to study game design. And we've always wanted to go to Oregon and figured we make a fun road trip out of dropping him off at school. So some of these spreads are out of order. If you see me flipping through randomly, I tried to sketchbook a little bit on the road, but our days were so jam packed that I didn't get a chance to some days. But what I did was take a ton, a ton of reference photos to draw afterwards. This is the first page. We flew into Portland at night and headed to Multnomah Falls on the first day, which was about 30 minutes outside of the city. And we hiked all the way to the top. We didn't think we were gonna do the hike, but we ended up doing it. And it was really gorgeous. Although there were a lot of people, the hike wasn't too difficult, and I thought the views were worth it. You know, it was still nice. We headed back into the city where we went to Tokyo Sando, which was a wreck from one of you guys. This place was bomb. It was so, so good. I just had to dedicate a whole page just to Portland food. This latte was one of the best lattes I've ever had. And I'm just noticing here that I spelled coffee wrong on this page. I used Holbein gouache and the sketchbook holds paints really well. I believe this pink color is called pale pink or pale lilac, and this red is called vermilion. After Tokyo Sando, we headed to the Japanese gardens, which was a wreck again from one of you guys, and it was really beautiful there. I highly recommend going there if you are in Portland. Inside their museum, there were a bunch of ceramics from various Japanese artists, so I took a bunch of photos of that. And the poem on this vase said, The lark takes flight on a spring day. Inadvertently, I am taken with sadness, left thinking alone. And I was like, wow. On a vase? Crazy. <laughs> and afterwards, we went to the Rose Garden, which was across the street. And that place was beautiful. It was my mom's favorite. Uh, I have never seen that many roses in one place. And there was this one in particular. My mom goes, oh my God, it's two colors. And then she pauses and she's like, oh my God, no, it's three. And the way she said it was so funny. We were all cracking up. David, can you show us your favorite flower? Oh, good. Wait. <laughs> There's pink, white, and yellow. So I had to draw that rose that she was talking about. And then after that, because we did absolutely so much this day, we went to my pick of the day, which was Powell's Books, the largest independent bookstore in the world. Of course, we had to go to Powell's Books. And okay, wow, this place was super overwhelming. Like I could have spent a whole day in there. I picked up a couple books from On Carly's favorite books, which were Shoko Smile and Happy Hour, and they also got The Factory. My brother, who's also getting back to reading, he picked up Dark Matter, so we read a couple of those throughout the trip. 
This was also done with gouache and pen and I just love like the colors in this. And that was a whole 24 hours in Portland. Today we left Portland to go to Eugene and we did a easy hike along a gorgeous blue river. Um, we saw the Sahali, Sahali Falls and it, there was another waterfall but I forgot to write it down here but I know it starts with a K, I think. This hike could have taken us an hour, but it took us triple that because we stopped like every point to stare into like the beautiful water and just be like, wow, it's so beautiful here. And on one of our stops, I got this sketchbook page out of it. Yeah, I just drew some of the stuff that I saw. So there were like a bunch of leaves, logs in the water, rocks in the water. I especially love the trees. Bit of driving later and we ended up at a Korean barbecue place and we ate a lot of delicious barbecue meats before doing some grocery shopping and heading to our next place. We did a soda taste test with Coke, Diet Coke, Pepsi, Cherry Pepsi, and the last one was Dr. Pepper and it was so hard. I only got one right, which was Diet Coke. Uh, so yeah, thumbs up. Okay, the next day we headed to the coast and this was arguably my favorite part of the whole trip. One, because it was just so beautiful and two, because I just love drawing ocean coast landscapes like this. Like something about the rocks with the water and the sand just looks so nice and so fun for me to paint. So we stopped along the way somewhere for lunch. I wish I got the location, but it was really beautiful. I think we did a couple of stops, so they're all kind of blending together in my head. <laughs> Picture of this piece of driftwood, which I thought looked really cool. And for this page, I used oil pastel as well as gouache. And it did transfer a little bit onto this page, but oh well, like it's a sketchbook, it's supposed to be messy. And then we did a lot of driving after that because the place we were staying was on the border of California and Oregon. My dad stopped us at the place called Secret Beach. We're going to the Secret Beach. And this was absolutely gorgeous. It was a short but fairly steep hike down to this viewpoint right here. You could go down to the beach a little bit more, but I was a little bit too scared. It was a little bit too steep for me. So I drew this for like five minutes. I did a five minute sketch on top of a rock and I wish I was able to sit there and paint for like hours and hours because I would have loved to just like stay there and paint. But yeah, it was so, so nice. It's all uphill. <laughs> The secret speech was beautiful. Or the David Cam. Let's get a cool shot. Make it back to the car. We ran out of water and food six days ago. And then down a bit like a mile on the road, there was a place called Natural Bridge. This one didn't require any hiking. It was just a viewpoint, but you could see like the ocean. And then there was this little rock formation with a little like bridge. It's just a natural bridge, you know? I wonder how it got its name. This was really gorgeous. Again, this sketchbook holds gouache like so, so well. Like there are layers and layers of gouache on here and it looks, it looks great and the pages aren't even like warping or anything. We finally made it back to our Airbnb and I was very proud of this Airbnb because it ended up being like pretty inexpensive but it was right on the water so you could see the view of the ocean from the window and it was so gorgeous. Yes. At dusk, my dad wanted to go fishing so we all packed some stuff to get ready for a little night at the beach. Um, there was a beach entrance like a mile down the road, so we headed there. 
Um, this night was like one of my core memories now because me and my mom looked up at the sky like at the same time and there was a shooting star and I don't know if you can see right here there was someone drew an Among Us guy in the water and it was getting washed away by the waves and I was like that is so poetic. We are on the road again after this. We went to Redwoods State Forest because we were on our way to Eureka which is the next place that we were staying at. Northern California, equally as beautiful as Oregon. The trees, I just love all the trees. We did a couple trails at Redwoods National Forest. Uh, there was this one infographic that showed the different types of trees, so I obviously had to do a little bit of studying and put those in my sketchbook. And then we also saw the big tree, which there was a really cute sign there. I loved it so much, I even got a sticker for it. While we were on the road, we also saw a bunch of elks and it was so funny they were just stopping traffic like 20 of them probably they were just chilling and this one ended up sticking its tongue out so i had to draw that in that was our time in the redwoods and then we got to eureka and we didn't really do much that night we kind of chilled we stayed at a holiday inn hotel all together all five of us oh for these black and white pages i use this one pen i don't know the name of it because it's in Japanese, but it's this really nice brush pen. Really lovely, it makes really nice lines. We also got a bunch of snacks. I love the Sweet Tarts ropes and the Fudge Brownie M&Ms. So good. She's a 10, but can't wake up for a Holiday Inn Continental Breakfast, which is me. I didn't wake up for any of them. Day five, we were still in Northern California, heading to Santa Rosa. We saw a 2,000 year old grandfather tree and there were these amazing, amazing bear sculptures there. They were so cool. We saw the guy sculpting it with a chainsaw and I, it was just so amazing how he was making these bears out of like lumps of wood. I love, love, love this one with the ice cream. There was a hiking bear, which I think I'm gonna do a whole illustration on. Bunch of Bigfoot ones too, which I didn't know Bigfoot was so big over there. And it's just really funny that there were so many like Bigfoot themed stuff. Yeah, the grandfather tree was really cool. Um, this spread I used just colored pencils. And yeah, I'm really into drawing like the wood texture and the trees like this, like all loopy. We finally made it to our Airbnb and this day my mom unfortunately started getting a sore throat that ended up being tonsillitis, but she rested up the Airbnb and the rest of us drove to see the sunset at Blind Beach. Wow, this might have been like the nicest sunset I have ever seen, like another core memory right here. I read a little bit of my book and as the sun was setting, the reflection on the water, I wish I could capture it on paper. The reflection on the water made it just look like gold and it was just so, so stunning. Me and my brothers were like, oh, I don't know if we wanna go, like we're feeling kind of lazy, but this is a reminder just to go guys. Like you never know what you might find. The next couple days were a little bit chaotic. I kind of fell off filming because I wanted to enjoy the rest of the trip without the pressure of having a camera to film everything. And it kind of just was a bit of a blur. My mom had to go to urgent care in the morning and then she ended up being okay. But we drove seven hours down to Santa Barbara. Um, we went to a couple piers, we stopped at this place to go see some seals, but there ended up not being any seals there, but it was still fun. Uh, for this page, I used these Faber and Castell artist pens. Yeah, I just had fun with black and white, and then I, and then I went over everything with some black gouache, so it kind of looks like you're looking through a window or something. The last few days we spent in Los Angeles, and again, kind of chaotic. We were moving my brother into his dorm, we did have a lot of good food in LA, so of course I had to make a food spread. I've come to find that making food spreads is one of my favorite things, one to remember the restaurants I've gone to, and it's just so fun drawing food. Let's see, oh, the next day uh, was my birthday, and two of my friends came from San Diego to hang out with me on my birthday. We went out for drinks, and then, on my, my actual birthday day, the 20th, we went to Manhattan Beach. 
There was a volleyball tournament going on. There was a bunch of people surfing and just like the mountains in the back look like so nice. Here we watched the surfers for a while and then we also saw like a bunch of fish and dolphins. So yeah, this day was super fun. It was a 10 of a 10 birthday. Yeah, we checked out the aquarium and I took a bunch of pictures, like the little descriptions of everything, which if you don't have time to like read them at the place, I really recommend taking a photo of them because then you could go back and look at it later, perhaps draw it in your sketchbook and learn a couple new facts. Like I learned that this California sheephead fish, they're all born female and then transition to males later in life. Like. That's super cool of them. <laughs> that was our last day in California. And then we flew back to Philadelphia. And that is the end of our sketchbook tour, our mini sketchbook tour of our trip. Really hope you guys enjoyed looking at my sketchbook with me and just seeing clips from our trip. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. There are tons of other places to find me on the internet. Yeah, that is it for today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.